Hi, everyone. I am Linda Welbrock, the CEO and founder of Leading Women Entrepreneurs. And we're so grateful to have such a special guest with us today. Her name is Marta Lefsky Darden. She is the Director of Planning and Development for the Township of Woodbridge. Welcome, Marta, and congratulations. Hi, thank you. It's great to be here. Thanks so much for seeing me for a couple of minutes under all of these bizarre circumstances we're dealing with. I know, and thank God for technology. We could bring you in, we could have this interview, and we can't wait for you to tell us a little bit about your story and why you chose a career in planning and economic development. Well, um, so, you know, when I was in school, I found out that I got bored pretty easily. So I needed to study something that was fairly diverse. And so I uh, focused in on uh, urban studies. And that is really the study of everything that has a city be a city from the economics to the social, to the cultural, to the financial, to everything, the history, everything that goes into creating a city. And so I did some of that work as an undergraduate. And then when uh, I transferred to the University of Pennsylvania, they had a master's degree. And I kind of knew from the beginning that I needed a master's degree in order to be specialized in any field that I wanted to work in. So they had a master's degree in city and regional planning. And so uh, being at starting at Rutgers for two years, then spending three years at the University of Pennsylvania, I graduated with my undergrad and my graduate degree from uh, University of Pennsylvania with a minor in marketing from the Wharton School. Um, so it sounds, sounds pretty impressive. Oh, you like that? Okay, good. That's, thank you. I appreciate that. And yeah, I was on the five-year plan for two degrees. As you know, today, many students in college are on the five-year plan for a single degree. Mm -hmm. But um, as you can imagine, it was uh, hugely expensive and time consuming. And like I said, I get bored easily. So I was off to the races. And so then I started looking around after I graduated and I'm like, OK, well, you know, there's so, just the Northeast. There's so many opportunities for for planning. What would what would I want to do? Where would I want to go? And I decided early on then you know what, I really didn't want to make that commute to the city. So I started looking around. I am not born and raised in Monmouth County, but um, in New Jersey. And Monmouth County is where I grew up most of my life. And it's where uh, my family was living uh, when I graduated. So I started looking around for opportunities in the area. And Woodbridge had an opportunity for um a planner and that position had been open for months because it was 88 we were in the middle of a market boom and so public jobs were traditionally less well paid so this job had been open for six months and they and Wood retired me right out of school and i was the first woman in a professional capacity that had been had been hired to work for the town and I started working at 23. I had my undergraduate and my master's. And um, at that time, everybody else who worked for the town was like 30, 40 years older than me. So everything was a challenge. Everything was a new beginning. Everything was, it was, it was a very exciting, dynamic time. And I, I saw the, you know, planning kind of requires some forward thinking. And Woodbridge is the um, the first incorporated township in the state, the oldest town in the state from 1669. And when I got off the train here back then in, in 1988, uh, I saw huge opportunities for possibilities of what the downtown could, could look like and, and could be even all the way back then. Well, listen, it certainly uh, is a reflection of um, your you being a visionary back in 1988, did you say? Is that when you when you started there? And yeah, I've only been here a little over three decades, right? That's incredible. <laughs> and um, uh, yes. 
very, very uncommon. So, you know, what I would say is one of the things that I've always done is I'm, I've kind of charted my own path. And so I, I kind of keyed in for myself on what, what I would like to do, what I wanted to deal with, what I didn't want to deal with. And I, and then I went for, I went down the path. I went for it from there. And I've been very lucky and honored to be able to be here and work for the town for all this time. And now I've been director of planning and development going on, oh gosh, um, 23, 24 years. Um, and I'm very honored. That. Let's shift into okay. telling us a little bit about the projects that you're currently working on, even during the pandemic and what you see for the future well we're so again that that's why i'm still here after three decades and why i'm still in this office and this business in this place because obviously there are other places that i could have worked but i feel very um very blessed a lot of gratitude for being able to work with our current very progressive and visionary mayor and so with with his vision implemented you know we are busier than ever we're during the pandemic we're building uh we're building in the downtown uh residential mixed use development um, that that was something I saw way back, but that's something he's been spearheading and getting to happen now for about the last decade. Um, looking at all the evolution and just uh, development that could go on in, in Metro Park and, and what could possibly be supported there. That's another very strong vision of his that I share. So I feel very... Um, lucky to be here at this particular time because we are just busier than ever warehouses several million square feet of warehouses amazon's growing every day and they want to be here in a big way <laughs> and that has happened over successive years and continues to happen today um other warehouses we 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 wish we could grow more land for all for the warehouses and the warehousers that want to come here. Well, thank you for continuing to light up Woodbridge, which like you mentioned is um, such an important town in the state of New Jersey. And it's right at the epicenter of connecting, getting New Yorkers to the center of New Jersey and then down the shore. So um, I know I've been on that line quite a few times. And so we thank you for that. I'm going to shift into one last question because we've all been in isolation. And I want to ask you, is there one thing that you need every day to help you get through this pandemic? Well, again, I, I have a lot of gratitude because there's been a shutdown. But since uh, the running of the township was deemed essential, I, I've been at work every day since the shutdown, as have all of the other directors, leaders, mayor in, in town. Um, so I'm very grateful for that because even though we were under a shutdown order, I was, I was able to be out. And, um, I, I think that really helped me find purpose, stay directed because there's so much now that we don't control. So what, what I need every day is that, that I, I've tried to find at least one thing to be grateful for. Uh, I try to stay focused and on purpose. I find that when I have impact over what I can do and what I can control, that helps me quite a bit. And I try in this ever so serious atmosphere to find something to laugh about and to not take myself so seriously. Well, that's such important advice. And I think everyone should take it. And I know that these have been quite serious times. So laughing is a little bit of therapy for all of us. So I appreciate your time today and your great advice and your story of dedication and success to the town of Woodbridge. I can't wait to get to go out to lunch there one of these days soon. Be awesome. Uh, I know. <laughs> I love uh, it. <laughs> so until then, we cannot wait to celebrate you as a top 25 leading woman on October 8th. And we just want to say congratulations again and, and thank you for your dedication and success to the state. Thank you. And thank you for your time. Thanks.